Swallow third. Swallow's pulling up. No. It's Alderboy. Alderboy's the winner. Riviera Blue second. Swallow third. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Number five. Number five, gentlemen. No, no, number five, mister. Believe me, I used to be a jockey. Yeah? Yeah. Angelo, you tell him. He says he already bet another number. Yeah? Who do you like? Six. Ah, number six, very smart. No, look in the fourth race. Man wants number six. Number six it is. <laughs> Baron, let me. They're off. Carousel in the lead. Lightning streak, second position. Third, Fantasia. John Brown. Yalta. After the second furlong, number six, Carousel, is still ahead. Yalta is dropping back. Now they're into the straight. The positions are unchanged. Carousel, number six, followed by Lightning Streak, number five, and Fantasia, number three. Carousel still in the lead. Number five, Lightning Streak is moving ahead to overtake the leading position. No, he's broken his stride. John Brown is moving up, but Carousel keeps ahead, followed by John Brown, Yalta, and Kim. Carousel is number six. Carousel is the winner. John Brown, number one, second, and Galta, number seven, third. Five to one. Congratulations. Congratulations yeah. to you. Here, cash, please. Okay. See you at the gate. belongs to him. He's a winner. He's a very lucky guy. There's a New Yorker right in the middle of your town, and you don't even know why. He wouldn't come voluntarily to tell me why, so I've arranged a friendly kidnapping, with the ransom being a little information. Be careful, Gennaro. Don't do anything that would let New York in on what we're doing. Don't worry. I just want us to be the only ones to have secrets. Mr. Gallo. Sorry. It's time to go and chat with the Americans. Where?
Where is he? straight to my house. Nobody saw me come in. I'm positive. Nobody. What's positive is that nobody's going to see you go out. to get into the big league, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I hope you never do. Who's the one over there? An American bodyguard. Some bodyguard. Well, now we wait. For well, what? I have a feeling that this gentleman's American friends are going to be sending over a Christmas present in the form of a small army. Send another guy over. Chances are they'll send him back in a box. You're not just going to let it go? No. Who am I going to send? I know. Huh? Peter Marcia. Peter Marcia. Maybe he's right. Maybe he's right changed since they killed his brother. He's a different man now. I don't think he'll do it. I know he will. Luck, Peter. Fishing's got nothing to do with luck. What's on your mind? Sal Leonardi is on my mind. He's dead. Fifty thousand dollars. Not me. Peter, I know you have your reasons for not working. I have a reason that'll make you change your mind. A good reason that'll make you change your mind. Your brother, the man who ordered him killed, did it for his own reasons. We knew nothing about it. I promised that one day I'd give you an address and a name. The man who had Leonardi killed is the man who shot your brother. The address. Names. Name? Gennaro Gallo.
Yankees owe us. Yeah. And half of nothing is, is nothing. Which is what we'll get if you two go in there and start shooting your mouths off. No, you cannot get in without a pass. I'm sorry. I got it now. It's very important for me. I'm sure it is, but you have to have a pass. I'm telling you. You can't get in without a pass. Sorry. gets when you, you keep him waiting? It's not for the inspector. Okay, okay, okay. The inspector's in there. Thanks. Would you look at this? Who let you in? I let myself in. Let yourself out. Oh, Inspector, listen. The money that the American won, part of it's mine. That money belongs to his heirs. If you want to talk to him about your commission, you can do so. But you have no legal claim to it. I earned it. You know how it works. You bet your ass I know how it works. If you don't want me to book you for it, you'll stop wasting my time. Look who just checked in at the Hotel oh. Excelsior. So, that's... The army, huh? Whoever had Leonardi killed might turn himself in when he finds out Marciani's looking for him. A professional killer comes into town under his own name, and we find out about it from the hotel. Now, what the hell are the Air Force police doing? On strike? They're good at that. You, beat it. Out. Come on. Out. Come on. Come on, get no. out. Yeah, all right. Out. out. I'm going, I'm going. Uh, don't worry. Hey, you think this Peter Marciani will pay off Leonardi's debts? Sure, with a kick in the ass. Oh, and he must be a cop. Ah. <laughs> Mr. Marciani? Mr. Marciani? I, uh, I'm Angelo. I heard you were in Naples, and, um, well, uh, I came to see if I could do anything for you. Like what? What? I don't know. Neither do I. If you need me, I'll be at the track. That's where I was when they killed Mr. Leonardi. Coming up to the home stretch is Lady Hamilton. Rosalie is overtaking. Yes, Rosalie is the winner. Number three, Lady Hamilton, number five, second, and Stewart, number two, third. Look, take this, okay? Here, the lot on 13. Mr. Thank Marciani, you. I didn't think I'd see you here. I was going to be an associate of Mr. Leonardi's. I like the way I can find things out. Yeah, what's that? Lots of things. Like the horses. Well, uh, this race, the favorite is... Yes, number one. Now he's a good horse. But, um, he's going to break stride in the south turn. Just you watch. Pepinella. Yeah? You take care of this gentleman? Here. Keep your eyes open, Dodo. They're at the starting gate. They're off. Number six, following closely behind the rabbit. Number one, he's moving up. Now number one is in the lead. Rabbit, Lucifer, and Paul. 
Wellington on the outside, number five. Wellington overtakes Brabant. It's Wellington in the lead, followed by Paul and Brabant. Wellington maintains first place. Now Brabant moves forward. They're halfway around the course now with Rabat back to the lead. Number one breaks stride. Number one, the favorite for this race is disqualified. Number six, Gutenberg takes the lead. On the outside, number one, Gladiator moves up to second place. Lucifer, yes, Lucifer wins. Number six, second, Gladiator, number two, and third, Wellington, number five. I lose my commission. How much? No. Why should you pay? Well, 20%, 200,000. 10%, two coffees. The Gallup. What's this? Our commission. How about this number six? Now do you think you can use me? Sure. Next time I have a horse I want shot, I'll call for you right away. No, he's got a personal reason for coming after me. And personal reasons lead to mistakes. Do you really believe that? Look at him coming out into the open like that. He's taking chances just to scare me. So that's two mistakes already. One, mechanics don't take chances. Two, I'm not scared. You know you're a sitting duck out here. Good way to get a look right? at the hunters. Mr. Marchani, I'll give you a good look at them. Meet me at the club around the corner from the hotel tonight. Look who I put. It's yesterday's. Come back here, you stupid bitch. I won't let you get away, baby. Stop. You don't pay for that when I got my hand on you. Where is every night? Come on, girls. What's happening? That's enough of that crap. Let's get some work done around here. Who is it? It's me, Angela. Hi. Annie, will you do me a favor? That depends. <laughs> Annie, tonight there's an American coming to the club to see me. Mm -hmm. And you could help. I tell you what, later I'll go out there and take my clothes off right in front of him. How is that, huh? You're going to spend the night with him. Get out. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, Annie, what's the difference if, uh... Angelo. Yeah? Now, you know I do a lot for my friends, but I've got to draw the line somewhere, so just forget it, hmm? Okay, Annie. Sorry. That's all right. It's not the first time. I tell you what, if you're a good boy, I'll let you take me to lunch tomorrow. That way you can tell me about your big meeting. It's a deal. Well, we'll be watching you. Ciao. Ciao. Come with me. Hey, quickly. what is this? Where are we going? Where are you taking me? I were full. We better let him in. Yeah, who is he? Very important man. And this is his bodyguard. All right, go on. Come on, what are you waiting for? Have a good time.
see the show? Yeah, I can see everything. Well? Take a look. Pretty, huh? Long story. What is this? What is this? You see the men in her life. Pasquale Russo. Kidnapper. Hunters. Nice work. Antonio Lopresti. Safe cracker. His accomplice, Mario Mancuso. Tino Garagiola, known as the chemist. Makes up bombs, poison, cooks morphine base. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present the lady you all came here to see, the one and only Lady Anne. Costello carries a Beretta 765 and finger blades. And this is one of Gallo's hitmen, Gastoni Sauro. <laughs> because that's what I'm going to do. Good night, sir. Wait, Annie's coming over. Annie, you have an admirer, Mr. Lanham. Hello. Have a drink with us. I'll have some of yours. Here, buy her some champagne. What's the matter? Your big meeting already over. I guess so. Sure. If I were you, I'd shoot. You're worth double the life. If I were you, I'd still shoot. Oh, so, go on. You got in my way. If you'd gotten yours, you'd have done the same. Come 
on, girls. You're broke. Get your hands off me, you brute. Come on, get this car out of here. You can't stop here. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much. Goodbye. Oh, you bulls are all alike. Any excuse? Don't you do, God damn it! You're coming for me. I ain't done nothing. I earn honest living. I'm no criminal. Painful? Yes, very painful. Well, it certainly sounds like glaucoma. Let's have another look. Well, it's not glaucoma. Just write the prescription for me. Better to have another look. Please. Sit down there. Mr. Marciani, if your condition is getting worse, as you say, you may be losing your sight. You know, eyes are very strange instruments. They are both extremely tough and terribly fragile. Probably more so than any other organ of the body, the optic nerve can be affected by some traumatic experience in the past. Some terrifying incident burnt into the brain. An image that comes back to blind you every time something jogs your memory. You are right. It is not glaucoma. Write the prescription, doctor. The same as these. Pilocarpine. Well, as long as you keep thinking that the problem is in your eyes, I suppose the drops will offer some relief. Personally, I recommend you try to treat the cause and not the symptoms. There is nothing wrong with your eyes, Mr. Marciani. Okay, go on. I'll 
We've got two boys following him into the fish market. A shopping spree? Hello. No, I was just looking for some dishes to throw out the window. To throw out the window? I guess you've never been to Naples for New Year's. It's crazy. We have firecrackers and people throw things out the windows. What about this? Yes, it's not bad. Let's try it. It's really awful, China. <laughs> well? It breaks nicely. Nice sound, too. <laughs> What? What's he saying? <laughs> he says it was a priceless antique, one of a kind. Tell him we'll take a half a dozen just like it. Allora, mi da mezza dozzina, va bene? Subito, signor. Grazie. Is Annie upstairs? No, she went out to the market. Thank you. You're talking about Angela? I've known him for years. He's a friend of mine. He's very fond of me. I'm glad to hear it. You mean last night you left because you thought... Something like that. That's stupid. Gorgeous things. Bye. Two hoods following you. Get under cover. Hurry. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? You had, you had two hoods following you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> they were two cops, Angelo. Never take out the lady without the chaperone. Okay. Well, now you've had a good laugh. I'll get out of your way. Hey! People who work for me don't leave until I tell them to. We need a car. Discreet and fast. Here, buy one. <laughs> okay, boss. <laughs> it's about time. Let's go. I might have a little trouble finding boys to go after him. Marciani's a legend. Yeah? Well, so is the price I'm paying. Plenty. Look, my boys had it. But they tried to bring him in alive. Tell yours not to make the same mistake. Right? Right. You know where I'll be. And let me know when you've got something organized. It's always been my dream to go there. Is it nice? Nice? <laughs> no, New York isn't nice. New York is like the whole world with all the good and the bad mixed together so close that you can't tell one from the other. It isn't nice. But it's beautiful. It's really the only town there is. Will you take me there? Sure. In New York, there's a sound of every language in the world. All day, all night. Instead of hills and mountains, there, there are these huge buildings that make you feel like a giant, like... Like there's... 
Nowhere else you'd ever want to be. Except right here. Oh, yes, except right here. Does that happen in New York, too? In New York, they don't even knock. <laughs> what is it? Your medicine, Mr. Marciani. Thank you. What kind of medicine? All the better to see you with. Ah, the big bad wolf. What did you do with my granny? I sent her to buy some eye drops. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. We have to go out and buy some more things to throw out the window. See anything in the room you like? You mean I can take anything in here? Sure. Why not? Ooh. Let's see. Looks like a great object, huh? Now, what else? Hmm. Peter! It's acid. Don't worry. I'm not about to be thrown out of the window. But you can add this to your collection. Come, I'll show you the rest. Uh, hold Potter, please. Yes, Mr. Marciani. I have it right here. I'm sorry, sir. But I thought it was best not to disturb you. Yes, sir, I'll send it right up. Room 430. How's this for my collection? A beauty. Yes. Yes, it's me. Inspector? <laughs> you don't expect me to believe that, do you? Why not? Lots of Italian Americans visit the old country to see where they might have been born, to look at the kind of people they might have become. Or to finish a family feud. You sure you're not hungry? No, no, no. We Italians have our evening meal in the evening, not in the late afternoon. Well, if you don't want to eat, what do you want? A little straight talk from you. About what? Well, to start with, about your brother. Now, I received a wire from New York this morning which says that Gennaro Gallo was the prime suspect in your brother's killing, OK? They didn't have enough evidence for an indictment. And besides, Gallo was being deported on other charges, so the New York City police dropped the investigation. Now, over here. Gallo is a respectable citizen, and he has a legitimate export business. He's watched so closely he couldn't do otherwise. Sounds to me like he's not being watched closely enough. Afraid you're right. Now, if I could get him for trying to have you killed, we'd be able to watch him through the bars of a cell. See? And you can tell your friends in New York that Gallo was arrested before you could get to him. The only people trying to kill me are those maniacs who use your licenses do. I'm a tourist. 
How would you like to tour one of our prisons for 10 or 15 years for the murder of two men in the subway last night? Arrest me. No, no. Gallo's hiding out someplace. And you're going to lead me to him. You can do this voluntarily, then you're free to leave the country. If you don't, I'm going to keep you here forever. <laughs> What's happened? Get the car and stick close to me. Keep the engine running and stay ready for anything. May I help you? May I help you? Uh, give me one of these. Back it a bit. told me you went out last night. You always talk to cops. I had to identify a friend of mine. He was laid out on a slab in the morgue. Yeah, I'm sorry. I saw that. It was my fault. You keep your mind on what you're doing, not on what you've done. Watch him. cars in Santa Lucia area. Watch out for a white Alfa Romeo Giulia with Naples plates. Hey, you're blind or what? down below.
Don't shoot! I want to talk to him! Where's Gennaro Gallo? I don't know. Convince him. <coughs> Where's Gennaro Gallo? I, I don't know. Where is he? Is Gallo. Do that. Don't cheat your cartoon villa. He told us what we want to know. Why kill him? So you couldn't tell that we know. What's gonna happen when they find that corpse at the cemetery? They're gonna bury it. All right, repeat what you're gonna do. Well, first I call Annie. And? And I don't tell her where we are, no matter what. Then I go to the station, pick up the bag, and come right back. Okay? Here's your claim check. Thanks.
Hello, Angelo. Where's Peter? Is he all right? Sure. Sure, he's fine. Uh, Angelo, please tell me where he is. I can't. All right, all right. I guess you're right. But listen, will you do me a favor? Would you please tell him that I... He told me to tell you that he loves you very much. He did? He really did? He really said that? Yeah, he really did. And he means it. I'm very happy for you, Annie. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet of you. Take care now. Okay, you take care. Bye-bye. Yeah? I'm his lawyer. All right, go in. Who are you? I'm standing in for your lawyer, Ravelli. He's in court and can't come today. He sent me to settle this business. Finished already? No, but I need the arresting officer's report. How do I get downstairs? Just follow the corridor to the right. Thank you. Well. All right, now you get down here and just go through the mug shots. And see if you can identify the lawyer. I'll get someone over to Ravelli's office. Well, what's going to happen to you? I don't know what's going to happen to you. I'm sure as hell not going to get a medal for it, I can tell you that. Just get down here fast. The witness? Right. Uh, what do we do now? Well, you can't beat him, you have to join him. I'm going to try to get a message to Gallo. Ah, the old man. Right again. I'll be a Gajulos. Keep smiling. Senor Gachulo, I appreciate you seeing me. Senor Gachulo, I want to know where Gennaro Gallo is hiding. And uh, don't tell me that he has become an honest businessman. I mean, I know better than that. I also know that uh, Peter Marciani is looking for him for more than one reason. At least, you can help me get a message to Gallo. Now, the Americans want to see him dead. Now that I'm on to him, is he useful to this organization here? 
You see, I have to bring in somebody for what's been going on here. For everything that's been going on here. I would settle for Marciani. Then. Then, I would help Gallo save his business and his reputation. If you'll help me set a trap. Who knows? It may even save his life. So long. Where have you been? For a walk. How's the go? No problem. I had a car on my tail, but they didn't have a chance. Good. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, open it.
Jesus. It does everything but pull its own trigger. That's just it. Left nipple. Forgive me, my lord and master. Try that can. It's too easy. Turn your back to it. Hide the rifle in front of your body. And when I say go, you'll have exactly four seconds to turn, shoot, and get behind that wall. All right. I'll count. Go. One. Three. Four. Five. Six. Not too bad, huh? Not too good. Now look, there are only three important things in this business. The preparation, the shot, and the getaway. Make a mistake in any one of them, and you're dead. Or under arrest. As for the target, it's just another tin can. When it's hit, you don't even watch it fall. You're gone before it hits the ground. You don't hate it. You're not even killing it. Because being dead from the moment you took the contract. Shoot it out. I... I don't know. Come on, you're the cowboy. Show your stuff. Come on, you can do it. No, I can't. You have to. Why do I have to? Because tonight, you're going to kill a man. Be very tough. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye, Miss. Thank you, Inspector. Doctor. Thank you again. Well, that's good news now. No broken bones. Oh, how do you feel? I'm all right. And you didn't tell him anything, did you? I don't know anything. Well, Miss, you see, you just had a little lesson, a little taste of the kind of game that Marciano was playing. You got lucky. So far, he's been lucky, too, but it won't last, believe me. Now, if you want to see him alive again, you have to tell me where he is. Even if I did know, I wouldn't tell you, but I don't know. Well, then, identify the men who beat you up. I didn't see their faces very well. Oh, come on, miss. Come on, now. These, these men could lead me to the man that hired them. Sorry, I can't help you. You're sorry, huh? Is that the way you want it? All right. Now, the doctor says that you can leave the hospital, and that means that you are healthy enough to go to jail. And we will call it protective custody to start with. All right? And then if Marciani spills any more blood in this town, just one more drop, I'm going to book you as an accomplice. Is that clear? You understand? I'll send the car for you later. Sorry, you can't go with it.
would like police protection for both of us from now until tomorrow at noon when we fly to New York. I'm afraid we're going to have to use two separate cells. That won't be necessary. I've arranged for a secluded cottage. Inspector! What is it? Nothing. Nothing. what the boys found out at the beach. Must be some political group. Where was it, in the car? No, further down the beach. Hello? Hello, Inspector. Happy New Year. We're going to have a big party here tonight. Well, I don't think so. No. I don't want to stand in your way. Have a good party. Yeah, well, I want to know how come he's in there while we're out here freezing our asses off. The guy's a killer, isn't he? He's an American. Uh -huh. Move around. To us. To us and to our new Peter, how much of your life have you spent being happy? The first six years, and the last three days. <laughs> Me too, like a child. We are lucky, you know. I am lucky. I guess it's time, isn't it? Yes, it's time. up all right. It's getting warmer. Look who's home for the holidays. What's this all about? You found him on the racetrack, shooting horses. Hmm. One of these days, you're going to put somebody's eye out with this. Sit down. Now, listen. Why, why don't you get yourself a partner who can really shoot? So I missed once. So what? It's harder than it looks. I'll bet you that uh, Angelo never misses, huh? I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know, is that so? You just don't want to admit that he's that good, is that right? Angelo's not so good. He's just a young, that's all. Why, when I was his age... Where is he? I ain't seen him since the American come to town. Where would he go if he wanted to hide out? You can go free if you tell me. Well, uh, he... Uh... Used to try to take the girls on the beach. The beach. Mm, beach. Got 
Chulo's place. Hmm. Jesus. That stupid little bastard. Get me through the counter, Valley. Listen, I want three cars downstairs immediately. Hello? Yes? Anna Valley, listen. Any trouble yet? No, everything's just fine. All right, now you listen to me. If Marciani sticks his head out that door, you shoot that bastard. You understand? Sure. But don't you worry. He's not going to move. Okay. Let him go. You, come with me. before I do. Don't shoot the boy if you can help him. Shit. Why did you come? You wouldn't have shot him. You knew it. You always knew it. But you didn't. Now you know. Go home, Angelo. You think I'm just a scared kid? Well, you're wrong. I would have shot him. And I would have got away, too. I did everything just right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, think of this. There's a bunch of cops back at my college who will swear I've been there all evening. You've got nobody to swear for you. That's what's known as being set up. It happens all the time. Or maybe I wanted you here so the cops would find you with a hole in your head that I would have put there. That too happens all the time. Not the killer. Be grateful for it. of things they, they don't need anymore. Huh. I don't need you anymore.
got Gallo. Well, you fooled me, mister. In many ways. I almost believed you. Mr. Marciano. What's all this about a message for me? <laughs> There's something you made up so you could ask for a job, eh, kid? You've got quite an imagination. No. Peter knew that you paid Gallo to kill his brother. Here's the message. <laughs> made your choice. From now on, you'll work for us in Peter Marciani's place. Mm -hmm. 